Hey everybody, Carl Brown here again. Uh, today we're going to talk about some percussive acoustic guitar techniques. Um, uh, mainly when you're strumming on a guitar like we've worked on before in these beginning lessons here, that you know you're just taking a chord, let's say I'm going to hold an E major in the in the fret hand, and you can just have your hand strum back and forth just like it's kind of like a metronome itself. <laughs> keeping the wrist nice and loose, just a down-up motion across the strings. Um, that's kind of the basic standard way of strumming on the guitar. Obviously we will leave some strokes out every once in a while. But you're always continuing that motion even if you're not hitting the strings every time. Now, a way of developing some kind of percussive feel to these rhythms, or there's a couple things that you can do to start with. Uh, this first one, it's kind of kind of takes everything from uh, kind of uh, Spanish style like uh, flamenco players, where you're basically hitting the guitar body during a strum, and you can do that and keep a consistent rhythm going without muting out your strings. We're going to talk about creating a rhythm by muting the strings in a second. But so basically, we're going to have this. If we took, you're holding the pick between your your thumb and your and your first finger, I hope. You have your other three fingers that should just be staying relaxed, okay? They should just be as relaxed as they can. And you're gonna have the back of your palm, where the, um, basically where the, uh, kind of the thumb and the pinky muscle meet back here. Kind of, it's gonna land about where the string, the sixth string comes right over this bridge right here, okay? And you see, when you can do a, if you're doing one of your normal strums, I'm missing the strings here with a pick, but I'm acting like I'm strumming it. And I'm coming down and I'm making that spot land right there and at the same time having my fingers hit the, uh, usually the pick guard on the guitar. Now this is a style that's very common with a lot of players like Neil Young and uh, you know Willie Nelson, a lot, of, a lot of folk type guys. That's why you see that Willie Nelson guitar has got a huge hole here in it. Um, so, but basically when you're doing this, this downward strum, when you come down, just try to make your fingers, possibly your nails, or, or sometimes your fingers, hit the guitar just like that, and the base of your guitar, uh, the, the, your hand come down right there is uh, on the uh, bridge. So just get that going for a second. Now you see how the pick is barely missing those strings there. Okay, so when I'm doing this, now I'm going to add a strum. I'm going to hold an E major chord in the left hand, all right? And then I'm going to just add a down. I'm going to, I'm going to instead of missing the strings with the pick, I'm going to let the pick hit the strings, but still land in the same spot. Without the strum, with. You gotta just find that one little spot in your uh, that feels good. It just so now when you're doing your basic rhythms on the gu acoustic guitar, where we've we've talked about rhythm right hand rhythm playing. If you need to review that, just check check out the uh, right hand rhythm lessons on guitarlessons365.com, and it'll kind of show you how to create uh, how these strumming rhythms by keeping a constant down up motion and then the in the picking hand, and then you're just basically leaving out some of the, you, you miss the strings um, uh, a couple of times per measure, and that really was creates these rhythms. And every downstroke you do, let your hand come down on the thing. So we have So, you can see there. I can. That, what that does is that my 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 pink my palm back here is actually landing behind the strings, and then these fingers are landing on it. See, I've got some space in there, so all the strings can ring. You can't really see. I'm not. Don't have my hand on the strings, so it's not muting out. So I can still get a full acoustic guitar strum sound out of it, and still get a percussive feel with it. So you gotta figure out a good way to position your hand and practice that, landing behind the strings back here. And then... Every 
every downstroke. That's key. the downstroke is the downbeat. So it's doom, two, three. It's giving that pulse, and that's what that percussive thing is trying to push. All right. Another quick way you can work on stuff. Let's hold an E major chord again, and you can actually mute the strings and pick them muted, which creates a percussive effect as well. Now this time, when I come down on my right hand, it's going to be in front of the bridge on the strings right here. So I'm going to. Now you see how that you could still hear the notes, but it's more of a percussive effect than a strumming effect. And the upstroke, I'll let ring out freely. So we have this. So basically what you want to time here is your pick hitting the exact same time the back of your palm does. Right? I kind of create like a um, kind of the, I'm laying this whole pinky muscle down right in front of the bridge. At the same time, I'm hitting all the, those, the usually the bottom, the lower strings are the ones you're muting. The, the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, or th uh, uh, fourth, fifth, and sixth, or whatever. And just get that motion going. And then you can start adding some upstrokes in there. It's real important to keep that wrist very loose. So you get that little swing on that upstroke. I'm not hitting the guitar at all there. It's, the muting is caused by the muted sound of my palm laying on those strings with a downstroke striking. All right, so just work on those a little bit. Just come up with your own rhythms, and just remember all the downstrokes can just be add a little percussive effect to them to really start driving the rhythm of the song, and you'll hear this in a lot of music. Okay, so uh, please go to guitarlessons365.com and support the site in any way you can. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, bye-bye.